that you put for yourself, I was going to show you, start talking y'all about what to do with the money you're putting up for yourself. If you weren't watching yesterday, you need to go watch the video from yesterday, you know what I'm saying, so you can know what's going on today. So y'all know, we got $2,000 in our bills, box, basic necessities, you know what I'm saying, stuff that you need to do, like getting your hair cut, buying groceries for the house, putting gas in your car, paying your bills. We're just going to say all your bills and your basic needs total out to $2,000 a month. Got the $800 you put aside for yourself. The most important box. You paying yourself. This is the most important box. With this $800, what this box for yourself is, is for you to start creating, you know what I'm saying, another source of income. Whether it's a passive income, that's a word I learned from one of these books that these rich, these rich people be writing. Passive income would be something like a, a vending machine, you know what I'm saying, that you put in a warehouse or something and make money while you ain't there. Or it could be active income, something that you do in your spare time. That's another, that's another word I learned from reading these books that these rich people be writing, you know what I'm saying, ain't nothing wrong with reading. So we got the eight hundred dollars in this box. Now, what you want to do? You got to think of something that you like doing, something that you enjoy doing, something that you don't mind doing. Cause you know what I'm saying. The goal is to keep your money working, working for you, for you to enjoy life and do the least amount of work possible every day. And if you're doing something that you love to do or something that you don't mind doing, making money, when you making money, ain't gonna feel like you working. So the thirty days that you've been putting this two hundred dollars a week in this box, I want you to be thinking every single day about another way that you can make money you know what I'm saying that fits you like if you like clothes you probably need to be thinking about trying to you know what I'm saying create your own clothing line and sell clothes so say you want to sell clothes say you want to sell jogging suits you want to get your own jogging suit made or something you got this $800 and you want to sell jogging suits let's just say it take you $50 to get each jogging suit made and it is $800, you're going to have 16 jogging suits. You need to sell the jogging suits. Me, if I, if I, if I get $50 jogging suits made, you know what I'm saying, I ain't greedy. I just want to make $20 a jogging suit. 16 times 20 is 320 So you take this $800, you buy you 16 jogging suits at $50 a piece. You sell them at $70 a piece. You know what I'm saying? And now you have 70 times 16. Now you got 11 20 in your box, you know what I'm saying, for yourself. Now you could be cool. We're making just that three hundred twenty dollars consistently. You know what I'm saying? And letting it build up over time. You might have something you want to do. You put this eight hundred dollars to work for you. It might take you a month to sell the sixteen job and suits. It might take you a week. It might take you two days, depending on how good or fast of a hustler you are. But the whole point of the matter is, this eight hundred dollars is working for you. Let's say you got your light deal is three hundred twenty dollars a month. You know what I'm saying? Well, now your job and suits is paying for your light deal. Me personally, what I would do, if I get 16 jogging suits and I'm able to sell 16 jogging suits in 30 days or less, I'm going to take the whole $1,120 and I'm going to buy me more jogging suits than I had last time. So when I get through selling jogging suits this time, I have fifteen dollars or 1600 in my box. All the while, though, I'm still going to work and I'm still paying myself, paying my bills, and I'm putting some in my savings weekly. It's not as hard, you know what I'm saying, as you think it is. It's just really more about having the discipline, being able to live off less, have patience, don't jump in and start buying shit as soon as you start getting your money and you making your money. Understand that you got, you know what I'm saying, a goal that you're trying to accomplish because what we tend to do is we get our money, we spend it as soon as we get it. it it's damn near halfway gone before it's even in our pocket. We got so much stuff, you know what I'm saying, we thinking about that we want to do, we just go to spend it immediately. But you got to train your mind to know that if I spend less now I can spend a lot more later consistently because what, what what happens you know what I'm saying what's gonna happen is your lifestyle gonna change your lifestyle gonna elevate now you got an extra three hundred and twenty dollars a month you know what I'm saying or if you investing into your business constantly investing into your business you might have an extra thousand you might have an extra thousand you might have an extra two thousand like the you know what I'm saying the possibilities in this you know what I'm saying I don't I don't work it out I don't do no work you know what I'm saying that I don't want to do you know what I'm saying everything I do I enjoy doing because of having self-discipline and being able to live off less but understanding that I want more, you know what I'm saying, in the long run, you got to sacrifice now. That's all I got for y'all today. I'll give y'all a part three tomorrow, like some different ideas on what to do with the money on this box, you know what I'm saying, in this box for yourself. How we going to take this um, 
money from the savings and start putting it with the money that we investing into ourselves, our business, whatever it is we trying to create for ourselves. I'm gonna talk to y'all about consistently keep paying yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you keep paying yourself, you know what I'm saying, and you keep putting everything into the business, eventually. You know what I'm saying? Like you won't probably won't even have to work for nobody if that's what you choose to do. You know what I'm saying? You might like working, but you're gonna have options. You're gonna have a lot more options if you have self-discipline. You follow these simple steps, you know what I'm saying, that I'm telling you to do, and you stay consistent with it. You know what I'm saying? So y'all give me give me 60 comments this time. I asked for 50 last time, y'all went way past it. Y'all give me 60 comments, hard three coming right.